Okay, today's uh, Friday the 14th of October 2022. Uh, last evening I had this Craftsman GS6500 garden tractor gifted to me from my neighbor. It's got a uh, broken frame. I don't know if you can see all that oil coming out the bottom. The motor runs, the engine doesn't charge, and the uh, bottom seal from the crankshaft just pukes oil. The reason I want it is for the deck. I'm going to see if I can't modify that deck to fit my Cub Cadet. My deck on my Cub Cadet's totally shot. It's a 97 Cub Cadet. It's been smashed. It's rotten. It's just done. And I'm going to put these wheel weights on the back. Those are 75 pounds a piece, so that's pretty cool. And we'll see what happens. Just what I need, another project. So I'm going to come out here in a little while. Oh, I see our problem already. There's only one arm picking that deck up in the front. I got two. Well, that's problem number one. Oh well, worst case scenario, maybe I'll fix the uh, leaky seal, weld the frame up, and just get rid of it. I didn't even notice that yesterday. But it was free, so we'll see what happens. Pretty windy here today. I don't know if I've showed this. I've got another Harbor Freight portable garage installed. So now this is uh, 34 feet long and 10 feet wide, gives me a good bit of storage. And I s covered the whole thing with the giant tarp, so they're both totally connected. Got a lot more uh, of the weather storage. So anyway, just going to get ready to start working on this thing, clean it up, see what I got. And then I got some trees, more trees to cut down when the wind quits blowing. Alright, that's it for now. More updates to come on this tractor, see how it works out. I'm going for now. Okay, I just got done giving this thing a quick bath. I'm going to call this Project Craftsman. I was told it's been sitting about two years. 26 horse Kohler. I'm going to throw some gas in it. A good time to see if it's got any oil in it now that I can actually touch things. Oh, bone dry. That, that's always good. That's good. Get out of there eating that water. Get. Alright, let me throw some oil and gas in this thing and I'll pop you up on the tripod and let you see if it works. He did say it ran, didn't charge and it pukes oil and it's got no brakes so hey how bad could it be right it's got an hour meter on it even I didn't see and that's only showing 953 hours I've got more than that on my generator I have no idea what year this is either not that it matters emission standards are 2005 so Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to put some gas in it and fill on it. You can actually see stuff. That's pretty cool. Nothing else. It's a whole bunch of parts. Alright, more to come. I'll be back. That's pretty cool. Nothing else. It's a whole bunch of parts. Alright, more to come. I'll be back. Okay, I got it cranking. Charged my jump pack for the third time. I just used my spark plug tester. I got spark. I'm starting to get gas. I'm going to give it a little uh, sniff of ether. And we'll see what happens. I think it'll fire. Now that I got it turning, it took about 7,000 acorns out of the cabinet. Alright, let's see what happens. 
put about a quart and a half of oil in it. There's no oil in it whatsoever. Come back and share this. We've already got oil puking out everywhere. We've got mouse carcasses, grinding acorns, the air cleaner was full of acorns, mice get in everything. That's all full of uh, mouse fur, mice nest, acorns stocked away. I tried to get the uh, spark plug out from the other side. I took the boot off it and couldn't get in because it's all full of acorns. I can't get the socket in. Yes, the frame is really broken when you put it in gear and let the clutch out the whole track that bends in half and bucks like a Bronco. Pretty funny. Alright. That's it. I just thought I would share all the, uh, the stuff coming out. That's mouse nests. Pretty cool. Alright, we're gone for good this time. Part one's over.